Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 27th of 2021. Well, it is titled Fleming's Triangular Wisp. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of a supernova remnant known as the Veil Nebula. And this occurred over 5000 years ago, that this was seen to explode here on Earth, and has since expanded out to fill a good part of the sky. And that is about six times the size of the full moon, full moon being about half a degree, that means this expands about 30 de about three degrees, and about 30 light years in space based on the distance that we estimate for it. So we can imagine the tremendous distance that it has uh, gone through. And we can also uh, understand some of the energy with the supernova that this is still bright with energy as it travels through the interstellar medium, even 5000 years later. So the massive energy of that explosion, still seeing the remnants of it here here today as the outer layers of that star are propelled at great speeds through the galaxy and get excited as they crash into other material. Now, when a star explodes like this, the layers are sent out into space at very high speeds. The material has been enriched with heavier elements. So heavier elements are a big part of this. And to an astronomer, a heavier element is anything that is not hydrogen or helium. So while there's still lots of hydrogen and helium here, there are also other heavy elements, things like oxygen and carbon and silicon and iron, and things that we are used to here on Earth, and things that we need to build Earth like planets and life. So it was within a supernovae like this and the one that we see today that actually generated many of the elements that make up our Earth and our own bodies. Now it's called Fleming's Triangular Wisp after Wilhelmina Fleming, who actually discovered a large number of nebulae studying plates at the Harvard, Harvard College Observatory. Uh, she is also very well known for having begun the had the beginnings of our stellar classification system. So based instead studying stars and classifying based on their hydrogen lines. And it's not the system that we quite use today. It was modified later by Annie Cannon, who did more details and gave us more of an understanding of physical understanding of what was going on with those stars and reorganized Wilhelmina's Fleming's uh, organization of stars into something that made physical sense something that we did not know about at the time when the classification was first done. But this is one of the other objects that she saw in addition to working on classifications of stars. And again, it is known as Fleming's triangular wisp, a part of the Veil Nebula supernova remnant. So that was our picture of the day for July the 27th of 2021. It was titled Fleming's Triangular Wisp. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Ring of Fire Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.